Hey everyone, it's Miss Kelly from the Mifflin County Library. So I know last week Miss K did a little explosion in a baggie and it got me thinking, I wonder what else we can do with vinegar and baking soda. So I thought I'd try this experiment today and maybe it's something you can try at home. For the experiment, we're going to need vinegar again and baking soda. This time I have an empty water bottle. I'm going to use my half cup measuring spoon again. And today I have a balloon. Now this pink piece of paper out of the top of the balloon is my makeshift funnel. If you have a funnel at home, feel free to use that. It'll probably work a little bit better. I just curled my piece of paper. If you don't have a funnel, you can do this too. I curled my piece of paper up to look like a, a cone and then I'm gonna use it. I stuck it in the tip of my balloon. I'm gonna use it to get my baking soda down into my balloon. So let's go ahead and get started. And like Miss Kay said, this project might get a little messy, so you might want to do it outside or in a sink. Ask your grown-up where you want to do, where it's the best place to do this project at. So I'm going to take and I'm going to get a, oh, you need a tablespoon as well. I'm going to take one tablespoon of baking soda and pour it right into my little makeshift funnel. And I'm going to work it down into the balloon. I want all that baking soda. Look real close. Might need to jiggle it around a little bit. It's gonna get down in there real slow, but it's gonna go. See, whoop, my funnel's popping open. This is why I have my container underneath to help collect my mess. Get it in there, a little bit at a time. All right, I've got my tablespoon of baking soda in my balloon. Now I'm going to take my empty water bottle, and I'm going to fill it with half a cup of vinegar. Now, the reason I wanted to try this experiment was because whenever we have parties at my house, I like to have balloons, but I often run out of air. Oh, look, I could have used a funnel for this too. I often run out of air when I'm blowing up my balloons. So I thought, if I could use the baking soda and the vinegar to blow up my balloon. So now I'm going to take my bottle and I'm going to open up the balloon and attach it to the mouth of the bottle. And then hopefully, fingers crossed this works, it'll save me a lot of time blowing up balloons. And now I'm going to dump that baking soda into the bottle. And hopefully the carbon dioxide is going to Fill up the balloon, blow it up with some air for me. It's working, do you see that? I bet if I put a little bit more baking soda in and some more vinegar, it might get even bigger. But that's the perfect size for me for now, so I'm gonna pop it right off. My balloon is filled with the carbon dioxide and I'm gonna tie off my balloon. And now I have the perfect balloon for my party. Now I just have to do like a hundred more. So I hope you have fun with this at home and give it a try and have lots and lots of fun making balloons. See you next time everyone.